you help me make some coffee? Oh yeah, the coffee. I forgot. Yeah, let's I, let's make some coffee. <laughs> Yo guys, what's cracking? This is your boy Apex Black. Thank you for subscribing. Um, recently, there's been a little bit of growth. So I want to thank all the soldiers, players, ballers, hustlers out there who keep them true to their game, finding this channel. Apparently, some people are sharing it, liking it. So we're almost at 250. Today, I'm gonna go into why women want to try figuring out your horny. I mean, it could be helpful. Women want to try figuring out your horny. That would like probably my might suck your dick or whatever would be good but i'm gonna share my five things that i can think of being a former gigolo still playing the game get out of the bunch get out of the shit you have to take care of yourself right and you willy that's what i'm talking about let's go <laughs> So number one, that's reason number one that it should be suspicious this woman gonna try figuring out you're horny or not is that probably they're just like problem with daylight. They have problem with showing their face, they know they're ugly and they're trying to figure out a way how to get laid. And I mean, there's the only reason is why would somebody get laid is that when you see dirty guys in barns, you know, walking with dick in their hands, like, wait, like, what? It's like, this guy's like so horny. Number two, number two is uh, obvious. I mean, most of the girls all the time, they are, you know, it's a reason why they want to have sex. Like, so there has to be a good reason. You're gonna make a kid, or you know, you have to have a reason. And one of the reasons is when they come up with the idea, like when their boyfriend cheated on them, and then suddenly there's a reason, like, oh, I want to cheat on him. Like, I need a dick. I need to have sex. And then it's handy if you're gonna figure out somebody's really horny. Why do I want to have sex with me? Like, you know, I'm trying to cheat on my boyfriend. Else. Well, a normal person, a decent man, wouldn't do that. But of course, if you're like really horny and you're like walking dingy with dingy and you're dingy hand in the barn, you, we could roll. I mean, it's like fine with me and then they're like oh, thank you for having me having me get me to me and then it's just a one time thing well yeah well one time in a million years it's all fine like these little dirty guys you're talking about they would do anything they would fuck anything with walks <laughs> Number three. Number three actually is nothing else than, you know, when women uh, start drinking alcohol. Cause when they start drinking alcohol, they start talking bullshit. could say anything. I've heard girls like, I don't know I'm a guy or a girl. Yeah, they don't even know where a guy or a girl. Like, where am I? Like, they're starting to where they at. They don't even know where they at. Yeah, they could say like, oh, oh they horny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't know what they're trying to plan to do when they're drunk as fuck because sex will be like bad burping in your face like yeah, farting all the time you know, you know that's, I mean of course the guys holding dick and hands walking around barns which I like that's great <laughs> number four yeah number four actually is uh, you know women getting aggressive <laughs> fighting stuff and you know to, to doing that is still because they're hanging like you know, these guys around me when they have sex when they touch my ass and I understand though the guys who dig in the hand and born with barn they're so horny they're touching women and stuff being not polite I totally agree with the girls a lot of bunch of guys act like animals you don't want to get close to them. so women get aggressive I'm talking about these girls get aggressive now I'm gonna punch the body in your fucking face yeah and that's it so when they figure out you're fucking this type of guy being so horny they're like they're gonna try and stomp you in the face like you horny like nah. and you're like, you horny like mm, yeah 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 and then they stomp you in the face <laughs> number five yeah it's the last one guys and uh, too bad women are uh, scared right we all scared but women like have to be careful what's the time it's getting dark like could be guys on the street home digging their hands be careful right you could like like what you do when you, when you figure it out you like you could run yeah that's what running away like they're trying to avoid the drama that's the best thing they could do the one the best reason i guess <laughs> So we have, of course, we don't have to wait. We don't have to wait until girls come up to us like, <laughs> we're horny. Because we, we know we're horny, right? So we could go to girls and just try to be polite, be a gentleman, help them open the door, you know, color them, be nice, buy them stuff, and be interested in them. And that's what Pet the Hostel comes in the picture, the app, which you apparently need to get to the girls on the Instagram. But anyways, that's it. And for the rest, you know, keep subscribing because I'm really happy and thankful as far as I know for with the current situation with subscribers and I love to, to make new videos and if you support me I can only make better videos so looking forward again already to making a new video and uh, hope you guys will be there to watch it and leave comment section you know ask me anything I'm looking forward to that moment man let's stay in touch see you guys